Hey guys, this is Anil. In this video, we will learn component in Canvas app. So components are reusable building blocks for Canvas app. Means suppose we have a requirement like if we have a multiple pages in our application and we want we don't want to uh, create header code in all screen. Then in case what do we have to do? we have to create a component and component is kind of custom control that custom control we can use on all the apps just copy and paste the control right so for that if we will use the uh, component we can improve our performance and also our duplicate effort will be eliminate right and suppose on the large uh, project we have a Changes. Suppose if we want to add a menu uh, item, then we have to just change inside a component and that menu item will be added on all screen wherever we have used that component, right? So the same thing I have discussed in my PowerPoint presentation, the three points I have discussed over here. And the third thing, component can be created inside a canvas app or component can be created using a component library so here you can see i have created a component so this is the component i have created inside a canvas app but this component i can use inside my application only i cannot use this component outside of this application right so this component i have created and here you can see the screen on the home screen i use the component and on the screen one also i use this component and if you want to add another screen and if you want to use this component just add this component right and you can run this application and see okay also if you want to add the screen one or a screen two if you want to run this you can see the component right now i was discussing the point that we can create component inside the app and outside of the app that is component library right so here if you will create a component this component we can use within the environment in any application that will be created in this environment we can use that component right so now first i'm going to create that component inside canvas app and after that, I will create component in uh, using a library. So here, actually I have some internet issue. Let me create it again. right so canvas app has been created here you can see the component i will add a component right and the similar thing i want to do over here so here you can see this is my screen and if you will see the height and width of the screen app dot width app dot main screen width in the component i will use the same width because here 640 is fixed right and divide by 5 so you can see the component is going to create it and i will change the color okay 
right so the color has been changed now i will add a icon that is hamburger icon now hamburger icon has been added now this component i will add on my screen right if you will run this you can see the change right now any change if you will do over here right now if you want to add and here you can see one more thing you can see this is not fit in my height so i'll check the height of my screen and here we can see the component and component height i will fix on my screen so suppose if we will run this uh, on a tablet any kind of tablet size automatically it will resize on that right so this is responsive kind of thing so now you can see right now i will not create a complete uh, menu on this video but in my next video i will show you how we can create complete menu right so suppose here i will add a blank vertical gallery not actually in a screen i add it wrong in the component right and here i will add a icon right the same thing i will let you know uh, how we can create this menu in uh, using the component in my next video but right now i am telling you about the component only how we can create the component and how we can use the component right so the same component you can use in a multiple screen so this component we have created inside a canvas app now i will create a component in a component library right so here i can see component underscore demo so here you can see we have a screen option also but here we don't have app option you can see here we have a app option but in the component we don't have app option right now let's create the component over here this is the component one now in this component i will do the something different suppose i'll add a label over here okay and this label text i'll say header okay and i'll do it bold and 25 okay now this is the component and if you want to check this you can check over here right this has been added so the height width you can set accordingly because you can see we have a, uh, a width uh, that is i think 640 so the width you want you can set accordingly right so this component how we can use in another application so i'll just save it okay so this component has been saved now suppose 
if you want to change the width of this component you can change you can see the width of this screen now you can change the width divided by 6 right not actually 6 because we are not going to change the width we are going to change the height actually so i'll just change, check the height right now i'll go on my component and here i'll select the height divide by 5 okay or divide by 6 right now you can see the component width is automatically changed right now i'll save it publish it okay now suppose here just go over here okay and here you can see get more component right just click over here right so here you can see component underscore demo or component one i'll just add it import it now this component has been imported right now i will add another screen blank and on this screen if i'll go in custom you can see component one not actually here so here i will search the component so actually we have a same name of the component so that's why it's rename our component component one underscore two so if i'll add it you can see the header component is coming as expected right so we have learned three points in this video if you will see in my slide Component are reusable blocks for Canvas app so that app maker can create custom control to use inside an app or across app using a component library, right? So we have created a component inside a Canvas app and component library and component are useful building large application that have similar control patterns. If you update a component definition inside the app, all instance in the app reflect your changes. Right? So we have updated anything inside the component. The changes has been performed, updated inside all the apps. Components also reduce duplication of effort by eliminating the uh, need to copy paste control and improve performance. Right? So that's it for today. Have a nice day. Bye bye.